Hello friends, today we will discuss on the selenium and in this tutorial I am going to explain you about the concept of selenium and introduction, the components of selenium and testing with selenium. Selenium was created by Jason Huggins in 2004 and he was working on a web application that required frequent testing. So testing the same application multiple times will consume more time. So to reduce this situation he has come up with a tool called javascript test runner and later it was named as selenium core and this tool reduces his manual effort where in the manual place we has replaced with the automation tool called selenium core and selenium is a functional automation tool that can support a web application all the web application in the market can be automated by using the selenium web driver and it's an open source tool because of its open source the most of the IT industries are working with selenium and selenium can support multiple languages this is a one more advantage where it created a big boom in the market so selenium supports java python ruby Perl, c sharp and more and can also support multiple browsers like ie google chrome mozilla firefox safari and opera support multiple operating systems like windows linux mac and the components of selenium the selenium is mainly built on four components Selenium IDE integrated development environment, Selenium RC the remote control, Selenium web driver, Selenium grid. We'll see Selenium IDE now. Selenium IDE is a simple record playback tool which comes an add-on for Mozilla Firefox. Now it's also supporting a Chrome browser. The person with having no knowledge on the coding can handle this tool very smoothly because it's a re record and playback which I which is an add-on for browsers so once we switch on this IDE and perform action on the web browser that interactions are stored in the form of selenus commands and entire the scenario is recorded and we can play back later and the test cases which are written in IDE can be exported into multiple programming language and this is an excellent tool for the beginner to start because there is no coding knowledge required for this tool because all the syntaxes which are in the IDE are very much similar to the selenium web driver and the commands which is which is in the IDE are known as selenus commands the selenus commands are pretty much similar to our web driver commands selenium RCE the remote control selenium rc was the first tool from the selenium suit earlier it was known as javascript test runner and rc created a big boom for the selenium during the market because it supports the multiple programming languages like java ruby Perl, python c sharp and whereas ide which is a record and playback which can supporting for the exporting of the recorded script but rc supports the languages to write the commands like Java, Ruby, Perl, Python, C sharp and it also support multiple browsers like Mozilla, Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer and all all the supporting applications which are developed in the JavaScript can be automated by using this application whereas IDE supports for only Mozilla Firefox and this has this is the main advantage where RC has created a big famous for Selenium and RC is known as a Selenium 1. Let's see the architecture of Selenium RC. So in Selenium RC there is a manual process called Selenium Server which is a mandatory to start before our execution and this remote control server acts like a middleman and these commands are sent to the server and it is interpreted the commands which we write in the form of our Java, Ruby, Python, Perl all these languages are interpreted in the server and those interpreted commands are converted and sent back to our browsers and where the browser's response are again interpreted back to our respective local language so this is an architecture of Selenium RCE so Selenium WebDriver is the most important tool in Selenium suit because because of many limitations in the RC WebDriver was developed and it has reduced the to, it has overcome the manual process like Selenium server in the RC we need to switch on the Selenium server before the execution and in the WebDriver there is a direct communication between the code and the browsers 
If you see the features of Selenium WebDriver, it supports the multiple languages, multiple browsers and multiple platforms and easy to remember APIs, easy to integrate the testing frameworks and parallel testing capabilities. If you see the Selenium WebDriver architecture, so Selenium languages are bindings like Java, Ruby, C Sharp, Python. So any test cases or any code which we write in these languages are directly sent in the form of JSON protocol to the browser drivers, where the browser drivers are the actual the Firefox driver, Chrome driver, Safari driver, Opera driver, and Edge driver. So these drivers will pick this JSON protocol and these will send the HTTP over HTTP server for the real browsers where these commands are executed on the real browsers and these real browsers will execute those commands and will send a response back and this response back to the re browser drivers where browser drivers will again give the response to the actual code. So this is an interaction in a web driver where we have no manual intervention like RC where we need to server to switch on before our execution so there is a direct interaction between the selenium languages to the real browsers so this is an architecture of the selenium web driver and selenium grid is used for distributed testing so it allows us to execute the test scripts on the different machines at the same time and there is a concept called hub and node so nodes are different machines on different operating system where those are interconnected with the hub and the selenium grid gives a good features like parallel execution on the multiple nodes it's a platform independent so we can we can connect from any different system like ubuntu linux mac windows and it's also support multiple operating browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox, IE, Safari. Selenium Grid is a language independent where it can support multiple languages like Java, C Sharp, Perl, Python, etc. And the fast execution the reduces the execution time as the test case are executed parallelly. As the Selenium Grid follows the hub and node concept where hub is a central system and nodes are in different machines and where test cases are executed parallelly in different machines and which can reduce the time in executing one by one as a sequence instead of sequence it executes the test cases parallelly so the time effort has been reduced on executing different test cases as test cases are executed parallelly and if you see the architecture of selenium grid where hub is a central system where we have a four nodes connected and each node are different platforms like ubuntu windows mac android and the hub sends the command to the nodes where nodes execute the actual test cases and the request and responses are to and fro with this hub and nodes and this is the architecture of selenium grid and till now we have seen the introduction to the selenium and the components of selenium like ide rc web driver and grid and using the selenium we can achieve the automation on the web application testing and thanks for watching and please share your comments